Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms, and today we're going to talk about the wood gasifier biomass stove. Uh, there's a bunch of different plans on the internet and YouTube and everywhere else, and I kind of took a few ideas from here and there and kind of whipped out my own. Uh, essentially, if your materials you use like a Progresso soup can and a, a one quart paint can and some hardware cloth as a uh, pot stand to build the stove itself, I use for the holes in the can. Uh, I prefer to use one of these cheap pant punches. So you can get these things from Harbor Freight, pretty inexpensive. And then for the other holes, I use a uh, a Unibit, which works really well uh, for perforating the can itself, like down here and at the base of it. You can kind of see the bottom here. I just did a bunch of holes, like a grid pattern down here, and I put some at the base of it, and then some at the top, and then at the base of the can. You end up doing this right here, knocking holes in it in an even pattern. You can use bigger holes too. You can use a green leaf punch or something like that if you want to make it clean um, and want to make larger holes. And then uh, you just remove the bottom of the can. Uh, when you put it all together, like this right here, it's a friction fit, which is really cool. So it stays together, and there's the pot stand right there, you know, just like that. And it's light as can be. I think it's uh, the whole assembly here on the stove, or on the scale rather, is uh, five and a half ounces. And then you can store your pot stand down here. And then you have a bush pot, which is one of these four dog stove ones here. Uh, it all fits inside of that right there. You fit that down in there. Put it this way in there. And then inside of that I could fit my alcohol stove. A small four ounce ball of alcohol. A big old wad of fat wood. Which is a little too fat. We'll have to take some of that off of there. A lighter, a bunch of birthday candles here, which are actually pretty good for uh, lighting one of these things, from what I understand. And it all fits inside that one compact container, and uh, without the fat wood in there. We're looking at about 17 and a half ounces for the whole cook set. Now this right here, the fat wood also, which is a big section of fat wood, is uh, two and a half ounces for that. So you can see it's not a very, uh, it's a pretty compact solution, and I look forward to testing it out and let's take it out back and see what happens. All right, let's get this party started here. That that would. Put some more smalls in there. I don't know how long it takes to get this thing going, so... I'm 
doing it with nothing but biomass. So. Sixteen ounces of water. What's the time? No. All right. Now you've seen how we got it fired up. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll come back when we get it boiling. Man, look at that thing go. We're about two minutes into it right now from when we put the pot on it. And it's already burning down good. Okay, you can see we're at a roll and boil now. Soup to nuts, we're at about the 12-minute mark from when I first lit the uh, stove. And today, this is what we're going to enjoy with the boiling water. I picked this up today from Trader Joe's. It uh, weighs one ounce, and it makes a cup of coffee. And all you do is add boiling water to it. So we're going to go ahead and try it out. Instructions say to break this lid off, open the bag, and I did have to add some fuel to the stove, it burnt down pretty quickly. And what you do is, is apparently you dump hot water right in here on top of the coffee and you let it brew for about four minutes. So let's give it a shot here. It says the Rich taste of a French press. And we're gonna find out. You can see where the strong level is is where I'm gonna fill it up to. Just before my coffee strong. And I overfilled it. <laughs> it's okay, it's at the mild mark now. So we'll let it sit there for four minutes and we'll try it out and see how it works. Alrighty, well, let's enjoy our coffee here. See, you filled it up there. It is a little lighter than I would like. Pretty good. So, this survival comes. Till next time, take care.